Well, good morning, kids and families. Look, they got me set up in my own space over here off to the side. Awesome. Hey, do you want to play a game this morning? I knew you would. All right. The game is called Can You Tell? And this morning, you're going to meet some of the students of Mrs. Constant's third grade class at a nearby school around here. And you're going to hear about some of the things, some of the situations they have to deal with. Then you're going to tell me if you can tell who the Christian is. Who's the person that knows Jesus and loves him as their Lord and Savior? Are you ready? All right, let's go. Round number one. Mrs. Constant assigns a more difficult project than she ever has, and it's a really busy time. Rhoda keeps putting off the project until the night before it is due, and then does the bare minimum with a lot of help from her dad. Alvin starts working on the project when he can and finds out all sorts of fascinating facts that the teacher gives him extra credit for. Mac gets a C and complains that Mrs. Constant shouldn't give such hard projects. Can you tell who the Christian is by their actions? Who is it? Say it out loud. All right, I'm not going to give the answers until the end, though. All right, round number... Two, Mrs. Constant divides the class up into teams to work on a project together. The three, these three kids end up on a team. Sophie insists that the team do it her way and stomps off to Mrs. Constant when the other kids don't agree. Alvin listens and asks questions of the whole team and does his fair share of the work needed for the project. Kit loves team projects but that gives him a chance to goof off and still get a good grade. Can you tell who the Christian is by their actions? Who is it? All right. Round number three. There's a rumor going around the class that Jessica's dad is moving away. Ted doesn't know what to say to Jessica, so doesn't say anything. Alvin doesn't know what to say to Jessica, but passes her a note at recess that says, I'm praying for you and your family. Lily laughs when Jessica starts crying when the teacher asks her to do something. Can you tell who the Christian is by their actions? Who is it? All right, here we go. Last round. During a Zoom teaching time, Mrs. Constant has the whole class work on math while she gets the next lesson prepared. Lulu acts like she's doing her work, but makes goofy faces to make her classmates laugh when Mrs. Constant isn't paying attention. Alvin struggles a bit with math, but keeps at it even though it's not his best subject. Vern complains and complains and complains in the private chat section with his friends. Can you tell who the Christian is by their actions? Who is it? Yeah, pretty easy, right? And you're right. And you're right. It's, uh, it is Alvin. He is a Christian. But so are Rhoda, Mac, Sophie, Ted, Kit, Lily, Lulu, and Vern. It's just that Alvin loves Jesus and is not afraid to let his classmates know it. He wants to shine the light of Jesus in all that he says and does. He knows whatever he does helps people to see Jesus in him or points them away. Now, I know you guys go to, well, you had been going to a lot of different schools, and you live in a lot of different neighborhoods. Wherever you go, Jesus wants you to show and tell others who he is by the way you live. And we can even do that in a quarantine, and we need his help to do that. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for being the light of the world. And for those that believe in you and love you as our Lord and Savior, we have that light with us, and we can shine that light uh, to all those that we come into contact with. Would you give us courage to do that and not to hide it? Lord, thank you for loving us and making us your child. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, families, PBF kids, 
online, uh, pbfkids.org. We've got family church activity for you to go along with this and follow up things, a Bible verse and a song too. Preschool, we've got a brand new video for you if you go to pbfkids.org and menu button, click on preschool. Mrs. Cheryl and uh, Mr. Bob have a new video for you. And lastly, kindergarten to fifth graders, we'll see you at 1130 today for our Zoom session. All right.